Organizations that manufacture products obviously rely on excellent suppliers and effective and efficient logistics systems. But there's no chance in creating a high quality product without an excellent manufacturing facility. Manufacturing facilities are oftentimes the hearts of these types of organizations. Nonetheless, today we see many companies looking to relocate their manufacturing facilities to countries that offer cheaper labor, tax incentives, and a number of other potential benefits. A lazy executive would see the basic savings and costs and immediately jump at the opportunity to relocate manufacturing thinking that the company would become significantly more profitable overnight. This would be similar to you receiving the heart of a world-class marathoner in a heart transplant and then thinking you'd be ready to win an Olympic marathon the next day. The trauma to you during the transplant would slow down your entire body and it would require a longer period of time to properly heal. Not to mention the fact that there would be a significant chance your body might reject the heart. And of course, just because you now have a very healthy heart doesn't mean that your bones, muscles, blood vessels, and other vital organs would be as healthy. In the end, your transplant significantly taxed the health of your body in the short run. And there's no guarantee you'll see significant gains in the long run. Like a transplant surgeon, a global supply chain manager has to understand the trauma associated with relocating key facilities of vital operational importance. Actually, a global supply chain manager is not only responsible for the transplant, but also for facilitating the healing process. Outsourcing and offshoring projects aren't the only things that global supply chain managers are responsible for, though. They're also tasked with expanding operations in an effort to reach new markets. Imagine trying to extend your operations by growing one of your arms an extra two feet in one week. Imagine the pain. Imagine the fragile state of that arm during and after growth. Imagine the amount of nutrients required to facilitate that abnormal growth. Is the message that outsourcing, offshoring, and global expansion are bad things? Not at all. Successful companies like Toyota, Apple, Dell, Walmart, Nokia, and Procter & Gamble are all products of world-class global supply chains. The message is that these are not decisions that should be taken lightly. Building and maintaining a strong, healthy body is difficult enough. But when you start to ponder drastic changes to a healthy body, you require the guidance of an expert that understands the intricate dynamics of a complex organism. Global supply chain managers can provide that guidance. They not only have expertise in purchasing, operations, and logistics, they have an understanding of cultures, regulations, currencies, technology, infrastructure, and resource availability at the global level. So, don't put your company and your supply chain under the knife of an amateur. Make sure you have a team of world-class global supply chain managers to guide you in the ultra-competitive global economy.